Morning guys, Ron here, Ronald Kilts. So I thought I would uh, do another video today and uh, it's a nice sunny, very wintry day here in Montreal with tons of snow. So uh, stay warm, take care of yourselves and hope everybody's healthy and good. Um, I wanna talk about beard care a little bit while I'm doing this. Again, using my, uh, my straightener here. Um, I have it on the 338 on the third setting because of the uh, the porosity and I guess the texture of my uh, my beard and such. This is my beard normally. Um, after getting out of the shower and drying on its own, kind of big, puffy, frizzy, wavy, and the sides kind of out of control. I mean, you know, I, I want to talk again a little bit, like I said earlier, about uh, maintenance and beard care and opinions and stuff like that. I get a lot of comments on these videos and stuff about... Uh, I like it curly, they like it straight, it's too big, it's too long, uh, I'm not doing this right, I'm not doing that right. Um, I, I, I think the, the thing to take away from all of this is that everybody has opinions, everybody likes what they like, um, and right now I'm putting in the beard oil, my Bulgarian beard oil, the Argan oil, into the beard, underneath, into the skin really, really well. As I've made commentary before on some of my uh, videos that Argan oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, uh, macadamia oil, those types of oils are very, very good for the skin, but they're also really good for the beard too. You know, beards are a different type of texture of than your hair on the top of your head. Those oils can be corrective in nature uh, to the hair. Uh, beard hair is very, very brittle and uh, very easy to break, which comes to one of the issues I want to talk about. I had noticed with one of my bearded villain brothers the other day at a meeting and at a social meet, um, we talked about brushing the beard. You know, when you're brushing your beard when it's dry and there's knots in it and you're pulling that comb or you're pulling that brush through, um, what, do you, what do you think you're doing? You're, you're breaking the hair. When you're breaking the hair, you're breaking that strand for sure. So all that growth and all that effort and all that time, when you're pulling your, your comb, your wooden comb or your boar's hair brush through and you're yanking through and you're breaking those knots, you're breaking the hair off. So all of that work, all of that time is gone. I know that everybody out there has seen those beards that nice and solid, nice and solid, and then they have all the little stringy hairs hanging down. And for bearded guys, to them, that's length. Well, to this bearded guy, that's not length. All that crap needs to be cut right off. Um, that is broken hair. You see bearded uh, beards and bearded gentlemen that are growing their own beards, frustrated with it not growing, not growing, not growing. It's actually growing. I mean, <laughs> you're having to shave around your cheeks uh, daily or trim your mustaches and stuff. It's growing. You know, a quarter of an inch to a half an inch a month. Problem is, you're not regularly trimming all those little hairs at the bottom. All those little old hairs that are broken, dry, not getting enough moisture, are just breaking off. So as your hair grows, 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 that hair is just splitting and breaking and falling right off. So you never get any growth. I can tell you my beard, everybody asks, well, how'd you get your beard so long? How's it so thick? One is genetics. I'm a pretty hairy guy. So uh, I have a very thick, very uh, big beard, uh, grows easily. But on the other hand, I also trim it probably weekly. Very, very light trims, very light trims on the bottom light trims around the sides, but all that little old wiry hair that sticks out, especially at the bottom, that looks really bad, I cut it off. It's nothing. It does nothing to add to the growth. If anything, it makes your beard look unhealthy and a little unkept. Um, so if I can say anything, you need to do regular trims, take care of it, uh, be gentle with it. Don't comb it unless, you actually, unless it's wet or uh, if you have uh, some oil. I carry around a little thing of oil with me all day long. Even putting oil in it when you are straightening it like this or smoothing it, you know, not necessarily straightening all the way. I'm gonna keep mine a little bit wavy today. Um, I put it in my beard. Your, your beard still gets dry throughout the day. You know, it loses the moisture. Hair in general, especially beard hair, is dry as it is. And um, the coarser it is, uh, the curlier it is, the more wiry it is, the white and or salt and pepper it is, the drier it is, even more so to that fact. So if I feel like I need to comb my beard, which generally, once I set it for the day, I don't comb it whatsoever. Um, it doesn't get knotty. If it does get knotty, I'm not about to take a comb and rip through it and break my, break my beard hair off. But if you feel the need to do that and you want to do that and you need to straighten it up because like, you're going to a get-together or a party or something like that, grab a little oil. 
grab just a tiny bit of oil. Don't need a lot, but you need something in there to lubricate the beard before you brush it. So before you put anything into it, wet it, or generally just take a little bit of oil and then comb through it, you know, very, very lightly. All right? So, and the other thing is, sometimes I like my beard straight. Sometimes I like it wavy. I never, ever let the sides, you know, go out and bow out, as you saw in the uh, when I first started. Uh, just not my thing. I don't like that really wild man kind of a look. I look all big and bad and covered in tattoos and all that stuff, but at the same time, I like to be well-kept and kind of put together and kind of look like I had a little thought for the day uh, on my appearance. So, um, just thought I would give you a little bit of my... My insight, uh, my own experience, everybody has, again, their own thoughts on what works for them. That's great. Keep doing what works for you. This is what works for me and my experience with my beard. Um, I'm co-captain of the Bearded Villains in Montreal. I have a lot of bearded buddies. Everybody hang out with have extensive uh, large beards. Uh, we share tips all the time and talk about it. And uh, I have a lot of experience, but again, it's with my beard and with my friends and stuff. So Keep doing what you're doing. If you have any questions, hit me up down below and ask some questions or direct message me. Hope everybody has a good day. Take care, man. Bye.